Whether you like it or not, the Pope has in his possession documents called the Papal Bulls. They're burnt into the flesh of a newborn baby that was murdered and sacrificed. And uh, this Pope suggests that he owns you as livestock and that you know nothing of truth until I personally spell it out for you. See, what I did is I protested outwardly to the world that I am the Vicar of Christ and I spilt up lots of blood and published it for the whole world to see that I'm going to release everybody from bondage and bring forth heaven on earth. And uh, what happened was I captured the attention of your creator. And I have the favor of your creator. And I'm taking over this world legally. I'm flying my colors clear. For the benefit of all to bring forth heaven on earth, release everybody from bondage. You know, it doesn't matter what religion you are. Even if you're an atheist, you are made to swear in a Bible when you go into court. If you get any job with the government and uh, you have to be sworn into the office, you're going to do it on a Bible. It doesn't matter what religion you are, whether you're an atheist or not. You're still going to be made to put your hand on that Bible. And it's just that simple. So it doesn't matter what religion you think you are. It doesn't matter if you think you're an atheist. At some point in your life, you will be brought into court and made to swear in a Bible. I, it's just that simple. And if you think you aren't going to be made to do this at some point in your life, you're mistaken. Uh, before you can be a witness, you know, they're going to make you swear in the Bible. So you don't, do, you don't bear false witness and shit like that. So you see here in the Bible, it says Corinthians 4.4, 4, Satan owns this world. And uh, I put up gallons of blood under the prince of darkness, Satan himself, the Antichrist. And I'm telling you, I see with the eyes of Satan. And when I tell you this world is mine, you should be happy. Because I ain't got no fucking horns on my head. And I made a blood sacrifice for my sins. And I've been forgiven for my sins. And I got my divinity back. And uh, it's like I'm the first one on the planet to do this. Because I can see nobody can stop me. If I don't make videos pointing at the Holy Grail every day of my life. You will die. And everybody you love will surely fucking die. Because everybody out there is a filthy fucking retard. Until they put their blood beside my own on YouTube. So type into your computer blood over intent. And hit enter. And scroll down, you'll see all your brethren spilling up their spiritual currency to bring forth heaven and earth. And until your blood's beside ours, you are a filthy, soulless reject. You're like a fucking aborted baby fetus and you ain't going anywhere. But you're staying here in hell with Helios above your head. Hello, how's your health? You're so filthy, necrophiliac, sick, it goes beyond measure. Nobody has to like it, but I'm bringing forth the end of days myself. I know that every compass is pointing to the Holy Grail, where we drink from those living waters and get eternal life, where we stop counting off our days, where we pass into the land of perpetual twilight, where there is no more night and day. It's perpetual twilight, the end of days, no more slavery. If you ever wondered why pirates fly the, the skull and bone flag, it's because under maritime law, they're telling you what their intention is. As long as they tell you what their intention is and following law um, flag protocol, they're not actually breaking any laws and they are operating as private uh, pirateers um, in maritime or be in sea jurisdiction. Your brain was hijacked. You think you're on a ball floating through space as a monkey. But pick up any compass right now. See that arrow is pointing to the Holy Grail. In a year, I'm going there, and I'm taking some people with me. I'm taking over this fucking universe, and it doesn't matter what name you call me. I already see too much. This fucking world is mine. And uh, it doesn't matter what you believe. It was always, what the fuck did you intend to do about it? So, I'm flying my colors clear, motherfuckers. Under maritime law, this is my fucking world. You all swear on Bibles doesn't matter what religion you are. It doesn't matter what leader you have. They all put their fucking hands on that Bible and it says this is Satan's world. So it doesn't matter what you believe. Under maritime law, I'm taking over this fucking world. You're all a bunch of filthy monkeys lost at sea, officially dead. Okay, guys, welcome back. I'm going to comment on the new world order flag and what it means. Certainly there's going to be about 30 different groups out there that's going to love what I'm about to say with this New World Order flag. Can we have a look at the New World Order flag? It's 
So take a few seconds out to just examine what it looks like. And of course you can type it into Google to find out in detail what the new world order flag looks like. Now I'm gonna break this flag to break this flag up so you know bit by bit how this is played out. Now of course you know the new world order. The new world order just simply tries to capture the whole world so they can capture your sweat equity because that's the only thing that they can capture of you and you have to give them consent so they lie and trick trick you into giving them consent so if you look at the flag it is of course a flat okay it's it's not three-dimensional it's not a sphere it is flat so all of you flat earth theories out uh, theorists out there are gonna love this now these are all the continents that the New World Order people, the Illuminati and the federal government all have captured. Okay, they captured it with your consent under maritime law. It's a blue background, so it's maritime. So now let's have a look at the laurel wreaths here. They are Roman, of course, the Roman Emperor wears them. And their wings, that's also in the shape of a wing, is an eagle. That's wing tips are up, so it's predatory money. That's federal. If it was the wingtips were down, that would be Phoenix money. So every time they change the Pope, they always burn the chimneys in the Vatican City for three days so they can publicly announce that's a Phoenix act that they're doing, which means the Phoenix is setting itself on fire and resurrecting itself as something else. Okay? When they don't burn it for three days, I think they burn it for four days and that breaks the continuation of everything that they were before i.e like emperor constantine burnt the christians uh, they weren't cruel christians then and then he said i'm the new christian that's how these people work okay so these are all the land masses that they've captured let's uh, pull in a little bit closer to the um that's that so it's the background for it, the, the symmetrical patterns that you see on it is the navigation patterns that they create uh, as opposed to the Ordnance Survey uh, maps. So this, this will be the, I think this belongs to the Bureau of Weights and Measures, which belongs to the federal government as well. Uh, what's interesting for me, it's not only is it a two-dimensional plane that we're, sorry, it's a one-dimensional plane that we're looking at, okay, so it's flat. In addition to that, they have not displayed any of the territories, territories that they have captured because that would be a downright violation of flag protocol. And this is a flag, okay? It's a maritime flag. The continent that they have not captured there is the continents that they don't have treaties with, i.e. Antarctica. They do not have a treaty with Antarctica. That's why they cannot display it on there. Now, of course, there's a lot of theories out there as to what Antarctica contains. But I'll put it to you simply before I go into an elaboration that may last for days. But essentially, um, Admiral Byrd went there as a postmaster, because that's, that's what this is, is the job of the postmaster, to treaty with probably the, the inhabitants or habitants of people that lived there. And they would have said no. Okay, so... I think that story is quite famous and Byrd and the Nazis, they all came running out because they could not treaty with the inhabitants of them. Whatever species are there, I don't know, but I'm quite happy to have a guess they gave a no answer, okay? Because federal, by the way, in uh, if you go back far in Latin, means contract by foul means, okay? So that is that.